Delta hepatitis caused by infection with the hepatitis Delta virus, referred to as HDV, is not seen commonly in the United States. Because HDV requires HBV for replication, it can only infect someone at the same time as HBV, called co-infection, or infect someone who has chronic HBV infection, called superinfection. If detected, it is usually in the context of a hepatitis B outbreak, or perhaps when a patient with acute hepatitis B has a more severe clinical course than expected. HDV and HBV co-infection occurs when a person becomes infected with both viruses at the same time. Evidence of acute hepatitis B is depicted by the red hatch line, denoting hepatitis B surface antigen, or HBSAG positivity. The blue hatch line, total anti-HBC positivity, and IgM anti-HBC positivity, shown in yellow. Total antibody to HDV, referred to as anti-HDV, shown by the green bar, is detectable during the course of infection in about 85% of co-infections. Total anti-HDV generally declines to undetectable levels after the infection resolves, as reflected by the rise of antibody to hepatitis B surface antigen, anti-HBS, depicted by the orange hatch line. There is no serologic marker that persists to indicate that the patient was ever infected with HDV. Total anti-HBC and anti-HBS remain positive and denote immunity to future infection with both HBV and HDV. Patients with co-infection develop chronic infection less frequently than those with HBV infection alone, about 2%, compared with from 2 to 6% of adults infected with HBV alone. If HDV infects a person with chronic HBV infection, as depicted by HBSAG in red and total anti-HBC in blue, it is called superinfection and most persons will remain chronically infected with both viruses and often experience more severe exacerbations of their liver disease. Total anti-HDV, total anti-HBC, and HBSAG persist indefinitely in these patients. Although there are commercially available assays for detection of anti-HDV, and some state laboratories use these for testing, None are FDA-approved in the United States. Nucleic acid tests, NATs, for detection of viremia are used in some research laboratories, as well as at CDC, but are not commercially available. This segment is now complete.